This movie is rated PG. Parental guardians is advised. What's going on? Ah, put it for sale. For sale? Uh, what? For sale? No, but they can't do that now. No notice, nothing. government seized the company, shut it down and put it up for sale. Wait, what? I thought you said he was innocent. Apparently I was wrong. Tim Ajayi has been accused of money laundering, racketeering, drug peddling. He, he, apparently he was laundering money for his drug peddling brother. Jesus Christ. Uh, Arinze, our chief accountant and two others have been arrested. Oh, are you? No way. Yeah, look, the, the company's been shut down. It's been put up for sale. That means you're... Yeah, I'm jobless. I'm jobless. I'm jobless. I mean, I... I... I'm so sorry. It's okay. What do you do now? I mean, what, what do we do now? Uh, I guess I'll start, have to start looking for another job. things to be thankful for. I can't guess how thankful I am that one of us at least has a job. I wonder what we would have done. How much you worrying, honey? And very soon you will get a better job. It's not something to... Reg. I don't care about food right now. And please, really, you should stop saying, thank God I'm unemployed and you have a job. Please, that's, stop it. That's not what I said. That's what I heard. There's no silver lining to me being unemployed. Stop deluding yourself. No, I'm just saying that it's a blessing that this one of us has a job. I mean, one person employed is better than two unemployed people. Like, it, there's a silver lining there if you look at it. Okay. Are you, Reg, are you serious now? Better one than two. What? Reginald, you 
Listen, I'm honestly on your side. And I do empathize with you. Say, Chris, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm checking out vacancies online, sending out my CV. So if you don't want to help me, please just leave me alone, please. Okay, can you just tell me what can I do? Hello? I mean, how can... Yeah, hello? Yes, uh, thank you for calling back. I, yes, I sent my CV out. Love to work. Uh, yeah, uh, concerning the job vacancy that I saw the company online. My my name is Reginald Carly. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm just wondering if there's any other one that uh, any other position I'm willing to, to to do. No, no, no. I'm not a I'm not a new graduate. I have lots of experience. All right. Thank you. So you worked in Alista Tech Corporation? Yes, uh, I was their leader, their head program uh, developer. Okay. Your CEO and some of his employees were arrested recently for laundering money for a drug dealer. It's very unfortunate. We heard about that. It's a very, very terrible thing to happen in the company. Um, nobody knew about that. I mean, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't know. I had no idea. Anyway, I have seven years' experience as an expert in software development and engineering. It says your CV that you worked for Alista Tech for seven years. Oh yes, I did. I did. And you didn't know that your boss was a drug peddler. What? Why are you leaving? You didn't wait for me. I'm actually rushing to the market. I need to prepare dinner. I thought Wednesdays were date night. Yes, yes, Ada, but um, Roger and I are making a few changes here and there. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing is going on. Are you, are you going to the market? No, no, I'm going to look for something to eat. Oh. I also heard about Alista Tech. Yes, yes, um, Alista Tech also happened. Yes, I need to go. It's, it's everything okay at home? Your husband, is he okay? Yes, Ada, everything is okay. Okay. They say, he who marries a good wife, marries a good thing and obtains favor from God. What? Mine is the opposite. In three months after my wedding, my husband loses his job. Are you trying to blame yourself? This is not your fault. No. I just feel bad and angry. Hmm. Your husband lost his job because his boss was a drug trafficker. No. His boss was laundering money for his younger brother, who is the drug trafficker. Mm. I also heard six of their listed staff were arrested. From the accounting department, yes. I'm so sorry, Chris. It's nothing. I just feel bad. I mean, I know it's not my fault, so... I just hope he gets a job as soon as possible. Yes. I mean, Reggie's very hardworking and smart. Who wouldn't want to employ him? Yes, he needs to get a job and get it fast. Why? You know how these men are. Once they see a hard-working woman, they want you to pay all the bills and still rule over you. Come on, please, stop. That's my husband we're talking about. And instead of you to show some love and respect and support, you're something like this, like showing him over the carpet. I'm just saying, don't make him feel like a sugar mommy. Can you stop saying that? Okay. Because if the reverse was the case, Chris, Reg would put me on salary. You're offended. Yes, I am. Very, very. Well, I didn't mean to offend you. I just want to advise you. No, 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 please don't. See, Chris, I know this man, I know how they are. Your marriage is new, you're newly wed, so you can't take all the responsibility. That's Don't make him lazy. That's I know what I'm saying. Listen to me, Chris. Listen. Ah, uh, Chris! Chris, come now! I'm sorry now, I didn't mean to offend you. Ada, I'm not offended, please. I'm fine. I'm waiting for my cab. Please. I didn't mean to offend you. Chris, see, my cab is almost there, so we can my go together. My cab too is almost here, please don't worry. Chris, I'm sorry. Forgive now. Ada, I said I am not offended, no problem, please. Please. Okay, but I didn't do anything. I did not do anything. What did I do?
Sorry for keeping you waiting, Miss Christie. I was with the parents of the boy that brought me the pocket knife. The things that these kids get up to these days. That is why we need a quick replacement for the school administrator ever since Mr. Paul traveled to Canada. Oh, yes, I. everybody's going to Canada these days. Um, would you want me to suggest someone that could possibly take over from where Mr. Paul left off? That won't be necessary. I want you. I mean, the school wants you. I... <laughs> what? Congratulations, you've earned yourself the position of the new school administrator. <laughs> what? what? Yes. <gasps> and that comes with a 50% increase in salary and your own office. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm sorry, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, you've worked so hard for it. You earned it. On your way out, my secretary's gonna give you a letter of promotion. My goodness, thank you so much. Like <laughs> wait. Yeah, I, I mean I should go yeah. now and get the letter. Right. <laughs> I'm like, wow, well, what? <laughs> oh yes, I yeah, I should go. Thank, thank you. Excuse me. How did it go? Same old, same old. Oh, we're not looking for an ICT expert. We don't need a programmer. We'll get back to you. Same thing. Hmm. You know Pete, my former colleague now? Yeah, so he's uh, suggesting that I open my own ICT firm. And I think he has a point because every interview room that I go to, they are always only interested in finding dirt on my former boss. The name Alistair is like a stain on my CV. Then why don't you remove Alistair from your CV? So I can't do that. I started working there after NYSC. If I remove it, then I have no job experience. Nobody wants to hire a 36-year-old man without job experience. Hmm. I got promoted today. the school administrator with a 50% bump on my salary. Good for you. Man, I feel like a freaking pariah. Nobody wants to touch. You stop saying that. Stop doing this. Do what? Self-pity. Stop wallowing in self-pity. I mean, good things are happening around us. Look at me. Hey. I know you're in pains. No, you don't. You don't have a clue. As a married man, my primary responsibility is to provide for my family. How am I going to do that without a job? I'm here supporting you. Then if you're supporting me, you should let me vent. I've been faced with nothing but rejection today, throughout today. You want to vent? Yes. Awesome. Great. Vent. Go on. Yes. 
vent. But also remember that good things are happening around you. Your wife got promoted. Oh my goodness. Why? Okay, you, you, I get it. You want me to stop talking about me and talk about you. The center of my universe. That's what you want. It's a ray of sunlight. If it were you, I'd be elated for you. Oh, it's insensitive. You always find a way of making it about you. Everything is about you. Please. Honey, breakfast is ready. Are you shunning me now? Reginald, I get a promotion and that's enough reason why we should fight because you don't have a job. When you get tired of rubbing it in my face that you're now the money earner in this household, please let me know. She's so clueless and out of touch. It's like it's like what I'm going through doesn't concern her. Could it be that you're just overreacting? I'm not overreacting, no. You should have seen the way she was brandishing her promotion in front of me. She's lost in her own little world. There I was trying to grieve to my wife and Chris was like, can't you see I just got promoted? <laughs> see, I understand, man. I understand what you're saying. I do, but <clears throat> if you're going to come out of this hole that you are in, I mean, you're going to have to lose some of that self-pity. And you know, borrow some optimism from your wife. What? I know, I know. I'm, I'm supposed to be on your side, I know. And I am. Honestly, I am. I mean, you'll find out at last. But be happy for her, man. Chris is the one picking up all the slack at the moment, man. Let me get you right. I should be happy that my wife is now the breadwinner while I'm still alive. No, I want you to be happy that you have someone show that to lean on. Because not many men do. Trust me, man. Not many men do. I mean, things are appalling, I get it. But man, come on. You're gonna also have to change your attitude, man. Your wife's kinda right. wrong with your phone? I've been calling you all day. <laughs> Reginald? Uh, what? What's going on? I mean, your, your week of alcohol. Hey. <laughs> you don't say. Ashton, I did not marry a drunk. Mm -hmm. What is going on with you? What's going on with you? What? Wait. Oh, my God. 
Rich. 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 Reg. Reg. This is just not what I signed up for. It's... <laughs> no, this can't be happening regular. No, <laughs> no, no. Just so you know, I am extremely disappointed in you. Over drinking, late night, ignoring my calls. The man I know would have done better. The man I married would have done way better. Are you rattled? Hey, was that not the result you were expecting to receive? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm <laughs> static. Yeah, I know it can be unsettling sometimes, especially now it's your first time. But trust me, your husband is a sharp shooter. Hey, three months and you are. Okay, <laughs> we need to celebrate. Okay, what's it? Nothing, it's just some. Um, like... I'm happy, I'm happy. Okay, don't worry. I understand. You're going to be a great mom. I know. Your husband is going to be a wonderful dad. I know. Don't, don't worry. See, if you need anything, I'm here for you. I'm not just going to be your doctor. I'm also your friend. He lost his job. He did? A month ago. And judging from what you said, I'm three weeks gone. My school does not pay during maternity leave. I, I, I don't know what to do. He will get another job. That's what I felt. But don't you think you're rushing? He will get another job before then. Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. I should go. Yeah, if you need anything, I'm here. Thank you. Reg? Honey? Reg? I dropped by the hospital today. Why? What's wrong? I was a bit feverish. I felt sick. I'm serious. Is everything okay? Yes. Going to be your dad. Congratulations. Are you, are you serious? I swear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, this is great news. I'm, yes. I'm happy, but. No, wait. Reg, please, no buts. Again, 
you're worried. You don't have a job and then we need money. But this is, this is great news. You have something in mind? Well, I, I think it's about time you start your own tech company. Yeah, that's the plan. That's always been the plan, but with what money? We, 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 don't, we, we hardly have enough to pay the rent. We, we can't maintain the lifestyle we're used to. I'm struggling. We have our savings. No, no, that's our safety net. We don't want to touch that money. But... We need it now. We've saved for so long. We need it now. Chris, is okay. Listen, I'll, I'll get a job. All right, I'll, I'll get a job. If you don't. Eight months. My school will not pay me any salary for eight months as long as I'm on my time to leave. I'll get a job. Eight months is still quite a while away. Don't worry, Chris. I'll get a job. Rich, it's okay. We can. You and I will own the company. We can do this together. We can. Chris, you're getting ahead of yourself, okay? I said I'll, I'll find a job for you and... You will get a job as our company manager. You manage the company. It'll be massive. It'll be awesome. I swear. It's, it's beautiful, right? Yeah. I know. Let's eat. Let's eat. I know, I know, I know. You're a miracle, you know. My miracle. Mm. It's true. I just, I want to apologize for the. Crystal Tech. No, no, um, Reg, you you really do not have to name the company after me. I don't see you getting any other name. <laughs> this one is sticking. Okay. Uh, the website is ready. Oh, <laughs> and so is the business plan. Yes. Okay, so I reached out to a former colleague of mine and, and he, he said he'll, he'll keep his ears to the ground, let us know anything he hears. Okay, so what next? Well, we've done everything we can do, so we just wait it out. Keep reaching out to potential investors, possible clients, stuff like that. Okay, at least our business plan is ready. <laughs> yes, we can. Yes, we can. Woo. Take a look at it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> We're actually doing this. Yes, we are. For real. Thank you so much. Babe, thank you so much for doing this with me. I mean, this place is practically all you. You put your savings into this. French, this is us. You and I are doing this together. I'll never let you down. I trust you won't. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Come on, so oh what? I have a client. A client. I feel yes, yes, yes. Okay, let me just There's another way, but I'm so sorry. But you know I can't accept that. You're practically like my best staff. I feel so bad. I'm sorry, Mom. Honestly, I am. Is it because of the pregnancy? Oh, no, no, no. My husband and I are starting something. Brother, we started something, and at this point, all hands has to be on deck. Oh. I'm so sorry, Mom, but I'm living for a good reason. It's progress. And I appreciate everything you've done for me. I'm so grateful. Thank you, ma'am. We thank God. But Christy, remember, my doors are always open anytime. I trust it is, ma'am. 
Thank you. We should be back. <laughs> Thank you so much. I guess you're best friend. <laughs> He'll get it. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Ada Jesus. Eh? Ada. Hmm? Yes, I'm leaving. Did you get a government contract or something? Oh, it's because you're pregnant. Ada. It's for personal reasons. Did your husband tell you to quit? Ada, I would really appreciate it if you keep your nose out of my business. Please. But you know why I'm asking? Because to get jobs these days is not easy. So think about it very well. Are you leaving? I'm free. for the marketing strategist mm -hmm. I've said for next week okay I'm thinking that we should put them on probation perhaps like three months mm -hmm. see what they can do before we like put them on a permanent position okay that's good, that's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. that works and then also I was thinking mm -hmm. why are you hey, are you okay mm -hmm. I'm great are you okay are you fine yes I'm all right okay. I'll just get the file for you yeah. Yeah. Hey. So, you worked at the Commissioner of Information's office? Yes, sir. Why did you quit? Oh, actually, sir, I didn't quit. Um, my boss's boss lost the election. <laughs> okay, well, your CV looks great. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, that's right. Hello, sir. Yes, it's, um, it's Bugs. I run the codes. I'll, I'll run it. I'll run it for my end again and see if that's where the problem is from. But I, I doubt it seriously. So I think I'll have to come by yours to check it out. Okay. All right. Every day in this office is hectic, so I need someone to play the role that I'll be too tied up to play. Um, and it's a new firm, so we all multitask. Can you do that? Yes, sir. I am very great at multitasking, sir. Okay. That's good. So when do I start? <laughs> um, one moment. Are you alright? Yeah. Yes, I am. I told you to make me more. I just I thought you needed some more some more time off. No, no. The doctor said take two days off. I've taken three. I'm tired. I'm, I'm fine. Let me just get my stuff. So you know, wait for me. No, I have a meeting with the client in about seven minutes. I, I, I'm handling this. You don't need to worry yourself. You and the baby need to rest. I'll take care of things. Okay? Okay. All right? Watch a movie. Binge on a series or something. I got this. Okay? Okay. No, the marketing strategist you suggested. I hired her. She's also going to be no, here. No, no, no. Well, you shouldn't have done that. I mean, I was going to be doing that when I resume. 
Yeah, I wanted to take the load off you so you could focus on yourself and the baby. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, 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 I'm fine. I'm fit to resume. Please be fainted, though. Yes, I know, and I am ready and fit to work. All right. I wasn't going to say this before, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it now. I think you should take time off work until the baby drops. Assuming I wasn't there to catch you when you fell. No, no, no. I'm rich. You... You don't get to decide that. It's not a terminal disease. I'm fine now and I'm ready to work. Chris, you're going to take time off work. And you're going to work from home casually. I insist. Sir, so like I said, Chief Osunde is a very busy man. So I managed to convince him to give us a few moments of his time before he leaves town today. The owner of votes? Yes, and he wants us to create a sales app for him. How did you have to get to meet him? Ah, uh, he's a friend of my former boss. I mean, working with the former commissioner has its advantages, and this is one of them. He's on his way. Yes. Thank you so much for dropping me off. You're welcome. Thank you. You were fantastic today, by the way. Thank you so much, boss. Thank you. So um, I heard that the, there's another project for the Ministry of Works, mm. but it's very low key and it's urgent. I don't know that we can meet the deadline. OK, what is it? It's, I don't have all the information, but my friend mentioned that um, they want a tech company that can create an app for job applications for the commissioner. Okay, I think I have something in mind. You do? Yeah, I think That's I have something great, in mind. great, boss. <laughs> I can talk to my friend, get all the details, and send it to you before the weekend is over. Okay, I can work with that. Yes, sir. Mm. Have a good weekend, sir. You too. Bye. She's, she's, she's exactly what we've been looking for. So, you know, she's just been getting us big clients, big people. You know, you know Volts now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the electronic company with branches all over the country. Yep, what about them? So Volts is owned by Chief Osunde. All right, that's a very big fish. They're now our clients. We're creating a sales app for them. And we're also working on a, on a pitch that's with state government as well. So she has connections with the state government? Yeah, uh-huh. Why did she use that connection to save her job? I don't know. I don't know. She said she has friends there. I don't know if those friends are capable of getting her a job. Mm-hmm. Why do I sense pessimism coming from you? I mean, you should be happy we're making progress. I am. I'm very happy. I would have preferred it if you keep me in the loop. I mean, it's a partnership. You and I. But the only thing I get to hear in this house is, Diane and I. <gasps> Diane and I had a meeting. I'm doing my best here. I don't understand. We're getting big clients. We're making progress. What else do you want from me? What should I do? Keep me in the loop. Well, that's what I'm doing now. We're talking about it. No, I'm not a freaking report card. I feel like you... I feel blindsided. That's how I feel. I feel like you shut me out of the company completely. Shut you out? How? This woman, how? You cannot make decisions and then tell me about them after you have made the decisions. It ought to be together. It's a partnership. I put money in this thing. Oh, oh I knew. I see. I, I just knew. I knew. I knew you were going to go there. I knew. I could swear that you were going to go there. You, 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 you gave me money to start a company. So, so what? You want, you want to go out there and tell the whole world that you gave me money to start a business? Why don't you take a megaphone and tell the whole world how you put money into my business? Because I was just telling you how my day went and it's fine. You gave me money. Your business. Who's there? What? I thought you gave me money to start a business. I knew you were going to go there. Very predictable.
I say? Yeah, hello. Hi, I got your email. Nice one, Daya. I just wanted to know if you're home. I want to run some things by you. Okay, bye. So I made the corrections that you talked about and this is the current pitch. Okay. Okay, uh, I like it, but I think we should add more ministries to the app, other than just the Ministry of Works. Okay, mm. but you know that they were particular that they want Ministry of Works and Infrastructure. I know, I know, but you know, this is a state government we're dealing with, so I want to give them what they want and something a little extra. Because other tech companies will just be giving them the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure. Mm. I want to blow their mind. Okay. I get you. I mean, I can visualize it already. I love how you think. Thank you. Thank you. This is a really nice place you have here. Oh, thank you. So, are you really sure that water is fine? You don't want anything no, else? No, it's fine. Okay. Well, do you have anything else? What else do you have? Let me surprise you. <laughs> <laughs> you know that if this comes through, yeah, mm -hmm. we're talking about millions. Millions! Mm -hmm. Millions! And a bump in your uh, salary, yes. car allowance, you know. Travel allowance. That you can take it out. One minute. Okay. Lucky. <laughs> oh, did you forget something here? Oh shoot, you forgot something. No, I, I, I didn't forget anything. I've just been thinking. Uh, probably overthinking the whole thing. You know? Come on, everything will be fine. Come sit. Sit. Alright, thank you. Everything will be fine, I promise you. Oh. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But... I know, I just want everything to be perfect. And it will be. Look, I have already visualized them giving the contract to you. You do realize that your competitors have no clue how you're going to hit them tomorrow. Thank you. I know, but I, I just, let's go through the pitch again. <sighs> Fine. Yeah. Uh, let me get my laptop from it. I'll be right back. Okay. So, are you satisfied? You know, I just realized that I don't really know much about you. <laughs> apart from the fact that you're a brilliant cook mm -hmm. and a brilliant marketing strategist. <laughs> well, let's say that you know two major things about me. Uh, what else do you want to know? Do you live here alone? No husband, no kids? No, nope. none of that. Uh, I, um, I was engaged to be married. Um, let's just say that he couldn't handle a focused, independent African woman. Uh -huh. I called off the engagement a month to our wedding. Uh -huh. Sorry about that. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. I've moved on from it. Um, I'm in a good place now. It was the toughest, but the smartest decision of my life. And I'm better for it. Enough of me, please. What else can I offer you? Do you want um, fresh fruits? <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. I have enough food in me to last me for the next one week. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, I think uh, it was productive, right? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah? Do you feel like you're good for tomorrow? Yes, I, I am. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. taking my calls. Uh, that's because I was busy. I had a lot to do today. I had to prepare for the pitch tomorrow. Well, I'm, I'm here now. Is there any problem? Is there an emergency? Right, sit. Why? Can you please sit? I need to have a conversation with you. Yeah, but isn't that what we're doing now? Why don't you Please. Are you okay? Is that what this is about? Did you come here to ask me a stupid question? No, I'm asking because you look tense. That's because I'm, I'm tired. I've been busy. Reg, this is not what we agreed. You're not talking to me. You're not... I don't know what is happening. I'm being kept at the sidelines. I don't know anything. I don't have a clue what you're up to or what's going on around me. We're working on an app to pitch to the state government that will allow the unemployed populace access to the Ministry of Works. That's, that's the 411. That's it. That, 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 that's huge. I mean, that, that's a good thing. How did you land that and what is it about? Listen, if you want details, I'll ask Diane to send you a report. Or... Wait, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you tell me I'm, I'm your wife. Are you? Because you're ask, acting like my financier, my boss. Everything I do, I do for you, to take care of you. But apparently with you, it's a crime to ask you to, 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 to sit back while I take care of your responsibility. Excuse me, please. You're stressing me out. I wasn't joking when I told you I was exhausted. No. Wait, no. What do you want from me? I'm tired. You're pregnant. What, what exactly do you want? I really want this. This is the commission of works we're talking about. So let's go get it. Let's go. I didn't mean words when I told you that I knew you were going to slay in there, and you did. You're such a force to reckon with. Thank I was you. so proud of you. Thank you, thank you. But the nervousness of this deal is never working. If this pulls through. Crystal Tech will never be the same again. Yes. Is that Sir Benny? Come back. This is Benny. Oh. So I I want you to come with me to the business conference. Oh. <laughs> I I thought that was your thing. No, um, the conference is about small 
skill expanding to medium and large scale enterprise and you're integral to the growth of crystal tech so i want you to have a front row seat at the training okay thank you is that them We just became a multi-million dollar company. <laughs> sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, now I think I need that alcohol. <laughs> Wait up, please, 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 come, come, come. still awake. I'm waiting for you. I shouldn't have at least put our baby first. No, you? no, no. Don't tell me how to be pregnant. I can very well take care of myself. You haven't answered the question. I was in a meeting. You really think I'm dumb? Like you just look at me and you lie to my face? You reek of alcohol. The meeting was in a bar. It was in a bar. So who else was in attendance of this meeting? Your side chick. Okay. I see where this is going. You know, I didn't, I didn't want to raise my voice before, but you leave me no choice. I was out there slaving for you, my wife, and our unborn child to make you comfortable. But no, my insecure wife thinks I'm cheating on her. I know you're doing something wrong. I can smell it. Oh, well, smell this. The state government just bought my app. I made some cool millions for our company today. You went out in celebration with whom, if I may ask? I was out planning our next big move. I will give you the details, but I don't think your troubled mind can handle it. Excuse me. Do you have a moment, sir? Yes, I do. Okay, so quick one. Um, I just got a notification that Afri Microfinance Bank are set to hire a group of software programmers and engineers to start working on their banking app. How do you how did you manage to know that? <laughs> uh, a little birdie told me. Right, listen, has anybody ever told you that you are amazing? <laughs> you are you are you are amazing. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I send the details to your email. Um, it closes in a few days, so I think you should get right to it, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the summit is in three days. I'll be getting ready for it. My box is already packed. <laughs> Hold on. What's that? Goodness, I I'm just responding. Oh my goodness. What did he say? What did he say? Look here. <laughs> um tomorrow okay. noon. Is that good? Yes, okay. perfect. Uh, you know, right? Yes. Good. Oof, okay. Yes. You know, um things like this are the reason you're going with me to the summit. Now, Crystal Tech is going to be doing a lot of restructuring. And you're going to go there as my marketer and personal assistant. But you're going to return us something more. I am looking forward to it. Really? Yes! What's up, man? How you doing? Good. So, is that the... Is that the fear? 
Oh well, she's more of my marketer than my PA. Does yeah. everything. I'm too busy to get involved. I see, I see. Yeah. And you, you gave her your car. Why? She's running an errand for me. Right. I see. Why well, you have an opinion about I, that? I, I have an opinion about everything, but. At the same time, you know, Uber is really affordable. Okay, I'm gonna walk away and ignore that obscene statement. I know. I'm just, I'm, I'm just concerned. What if, what if Chris sees on your car? She's running an errand for me. Besides, my car, my choice. All right, back off, man. Please, let's go. I want my marriage to work. I really do. You know, but my wife has gone from loving and supporting her man to taunting and emotional blackmail. Oh my goodness! It's the truth. It's the truth. Things are working for me now. We're making money. I'm not I'm no longer frustrated. You know? No, I know. But all I hear is I, I, I... What about your wife? I mean, how does she feel about all these? That's the point. It's like my happiness irritates her. <laughs> no, my brother, no. See, nobody that wants to see you unhappy gives you money to start business. No, don't do that. Please, don't oh. go there. Don't do that. Anyway, I mean... For me, if you ask me, I, I don't think you should be ashamed of, you know, what Chris did. I mean, she, she raised you, she raised you in your time of need. I actually begged you not to do this. You know what I think? I mean, if I were you, I mean, I'll, I'll wear this like a badge of honor. Ah, it's nothing to be ashamed of, you know, admitting you took help from your wife. I mean, if you're winning now, probably because of sacrifices she did then, you know? I know, I know, I know you don't want to hear this, but it's the truth. I mean, it is what it is. Evening. Evening? How was your day? You seemed pretty excited while you were with your PA earlier today. And I was wondering, what was that about? What do you care? Why are you so bitter? Is it because your PA isn't here to make you happy? You came to my place of work without giving me due notice. Oh my, oh my God. So formal. Do you notice? You seem to forget that I'm also an owner of that company. I own a 50% share because I am the investor. Be ridiculous. I wasn't ridiculous when I gave you the money to start all of this. No, please, how much did you give me again? Please, is this not what this is about? You want your money back? Huh? You want every you want you want me to pay you back? I'll give you every cent back and put this. I gave you money to start your company nonsense to rest. 75%. My God, as the investor of Crystal Tech is 75%. I dare you, Crystal. Come and get it.
Chiki. Listen, I... I'm so certain, Chiki. Giving him that money to start this company was a bad idea. A very bad idea. Everything has changed. I mean, I don't understand him anymore. It's clear I'm so certain he's sleeping with her. He's practically cheating on me, Chiki. No, Chris. No, you're wrong. I mean, they're ridiculously close and I... I can see that. I've spoken to him. I hate it and I've spoken to him about it. But apart from that, I, I mean, it's simply a working relationship between them. Trust me. No. I mean, he's never home and whenever he's home, all we do is fight and argue. He's always as angry as a hornet. Chris, calm down. Just calm down, okay? I will speak with him. Reg can be, it can be very stubborn sometimes. I, I promise you, I will speak to him and um, he will come around, okay? You honestly believe that? I assure you, I will talk to him and he will come back to his senses. Just chill, okay? Very well then. Thank you. Yes, Chica, I hear you. Because I see you have now become my wife's personal therapist. I don't understand where this unsolicited advice is coming from. Listen, um, it was a business summit today and I am tired. I'm exhausted. I don't need any Chris drama, so I'll call you back. Okay? Yeah. All right, bro. Hey, hello? I'm good. Where are you? Okay, come over to mine now. And, uh, I want to discuss something with you. All right. Everything has been so interesting. The business women meeting today, ah, oh, I thoroughly enjoyed this. And the networking here is on another level. I uh, wish I could say the same for me. That, that part was yeah. disappointing because I didn't meet any big players. Oh. Yeah. Everybody seemed to come here with the same mindset that I came with. Because everybody I met, I was talking to, they were just introducing me to one startup or the other. And I was like, sorry, um, <laughs> that didn't happen to me. I met one of the major league players. Oh. The CEO of Crypto Cash. Are you serious? Yes. Tell me about it. Yes. He was one of the guest speakers, no? Yes, and guess what? What? He wants to invest in crypto tech. He wants us to have a meeting with him tomorrow. You, you get out of here. You gotta be kidding me. How did you do that? Well, let's just say opportunity, luck, and preparedness. Oh my goodness. You're amazing. <laughs> you know you're amazing, right? Oh, stop. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I was thinking, yeah, when I joined Crystal Tech, mm -hmm. I, I wasn't really sure if I was going to enjoy my time here, but whew, it's been glorious. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make a good team. <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. Wow. Okay, so um, now that we're meeting, it's going to be valuable. This could really take us international. I know. So we need to plan. Yes. We set up a meeting tomorrow will be perfect. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Um, I, I should get to Yeah, hold on, wait. I just want to say something to you. Um, I see all the work that you put in here, in Crystal Tech. And I want you to know that we appreciate you. And when we get back, you'll be rewarded. Thank you. Okay. I believe you. And... Today has been fun. In mm -hmm. fact, the past three days here has been <laughs> glorious. Yeah. Thank you.
Hello, Chris. What's going on? Why would you leave almost 100 missed calls on my phone? Dude, are you alright? Why are you not answering your calls? Chico, what's going on? Why, why are you answering my wife's phone? Your wife, your wife is in the hospital, man. She called me last night. She's bleeding out. What? You really need to calm down right now. So be serious. Please. Her food. I'm sorry I wasn't here when it happened. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I am. God, God will give us another child. You see. I kept calling. I kept calling. I'm calling. Where were you? My phone was in silent mode. I was asleep. I didn't hear it ring. And you didn't think to check up on your pregnant wife for three days? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chris. Chris. What is the matter? Diane, um, what happened between us was not a smart move. <laughs> Come on. It was fun. We had a good time. And I think it's okay for you to let loose from Listen, time to time. It was a mistake I wish I could undo. 
that said, I think it's best we part ways. <laughs> best if we part ways. Brian, my wife, my wife had a miscarriage. I don't want to hurt you, but I don't want to hurt her further. So, I think it's best for everyone involved. They're going to have to tender your resignation. <laughs> okay, this is hilarious. It's, so you hire me, you use me, and I go to fire her? Diane, I'm sorry. Oh, you better be sorry. Your wife had a miscarriage. Life happens, I'm sorry about that. But my darling, I am not the girl that you use. And don't. Diane, please understand. No, you understand. Every single project you have is me. Your big contracts, me. Government projects, me. Chifosunde, me. Your new investor, Tunde, still me. Your company is as good as mine. Excuse me? Excuse you. Every single one of your clients leave with me if I have to leave. Do you know how hard I have worked to build your company to where it is now? I understand your pain, all right? Reginald, you don't you understand nothing? Do you know all the things that I've had to do with every single client to get Crystal Tech to where it is now? Ask you to do but all too that. late, boss. My blood, my sweat, my tears, my body is invested in this company. My regards to your wife. She will heal. Dude, I warned you about this girl. I know, I know, I know, I know, bro. I know, I know, I know. I messed up. I messed up. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't tell Chris about this. She'll kill me. She already hates me as it is. Reginald, Reg, you don't have a choice. You have to come clean, okay? You have to come clean. What if she reaches out to Diane? What, I mean, what if Diane reaches out to her? What will you do yeah. then? Diane will not dare. She might. I mean, she's already threatened to take the what if she decides to take your marriage as well as she exits? I don't know, I mean, I can't tell Chris. I can't, this will break her heart. And this will destroy her. This will destroy her if she gets from somewhere else. Come on, man. You need to own up. Talk to your wife. A moron. That's what I married. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'll do anything. I'll fire her. You what? She still has her job? I told you about her threats. She said she wants to ruin us. Ask your girlfriend to get out of my company. You don't deserve anything good from me. Chris. Chris, Chris, Chris. I was warned about you, you know. My colleague warned me not to give you a dime. I'm so sorry. Not as sorry as I am for throwing money at you. She told me not to do it. But I didn't listen. I stopped speaking to her because I felt she was the enemy. She was right. You've turned me into a fool! 
this. Maybe I can fix this. How? I help you and then you take my money and slap me in the face with it. And now your mistress wants to take my sweat. Get out. Chris, I can, Get. Make, I can make it right. Chris, I can make this right, Chris. Get out before I hurt you. <laughs> Your mistress wants to take my sweat. I'm sorry. I just need you to give me a second chance to fix this. To fix our marriage and undo this mess, please. Will you? Undo everything? Your affair? The betrayal? I'm sorry. I love you. You don't. You don't shame what you love. I'm speaking of love. I will get my company back. The very one you gifted your PE. His wife. And the one who's about to fire you. Excuse me. No. <laughs> no. Mr. Carlin. Oh, I'll call him Reginald. We both know you've been sleeping with him. He told you. You see, the problem with girls like you is that we always get what we want. The problem with girls like you is that you put the body before the brain. Body before the brain works for a while, but it lacks longevity, self-respect, and you end up with nothing plus a bad reputation. Great speech. But let me tell you something. If I leave this company, I take all the accounts that I brought here. 
What's that? Cruz, the same thing I just said. Body before brain. Who leaves you with nothing? That's your contract. It has a non-compete and non-solicitation agreement on it. You should have at least read your contract. You can't do this to me. I made this company what it is today. My money is the reason why this company exists. You must be delusional to think that you and I could ever work together. This is typical textbook sexual harassment. You use the girl, then you fire the girl. I will eat this company up for everything it has in a lawsuit. Can't wait. Hey. You know, every day I pray. I pray for her to heal from her pains. The pains I caused her, the pains of the miscarriage. But I don't think my prayers are answered because she hates me. And I, I don't think she's going to forgive me. Come on, man. Come on. It's true, it's true. She's going to leave me. I can feel it. We've not even had our one year anniversary. And our marriage is... You mean you've not had your one year anniversary and then you treat her like trash and cheated on her? See, if you're sorry, prove it, okay? Prove it. Don't only say it, show it. Show penitence. I mean, she's still living with you, right? That says a lot. Okay? Don't give up. Alright? So the only time I deserve gifts and flowers is after you've cheated on me. I drove by your office. I noticed your girlfriend has gone for good. Can you please stop calling her that? That is what she is to you. Your side meal. Babe, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I opened up about it. That should account for something. Your first taste at success. And this is what you do to me. Why, yes. It does count. It reminds me that marrying you was the biggest mistake I ever made in my life. And I'm undoing that. What? You weren't even supposed to meet me here. I was going to write you a letter. Then I realized I don't owe you any explanation. So, I wrote you this. Goodbye. Don't do this, please. Please. Don't. I'm sorry, please. I'll do anything, Chris. Please. Awesome. Why don't you stay out of my life and business for good? I'll come back for the rest of my stuff. Chris. Chris, don't do this. Chris! Big Red Joe! <laughs> My guy. You're looking good, bro. You're looking good. Uh huh. Yeah. Funny thing, 
I was thinking I'll meet you lying on the floor. I don't know why. <laughs> you know, half drunk, miserable. I actually wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do that, but I decided to just work on myself, you know, make some positive changes That's and stuff. It. That's it. See, you need to understand your life isn't over. No, it's not. I mean, even though your marriage. Yeah, about that. Um, Chris hasn't sent the divorce papers yet. Her parents haven't returned the bride price yet. And I made a mess of my marriage. I was stupid, idiotic, bitter. Instead of me finding out how my wife was holding up, I was just wallowing in self pity. You know, you should be having this conversation with Chris, right? Yeah, I will. I will. I will. So, do, do you have a plan? Why is he here? This is why you brought me out. Why is he here, Chica? I'm asking you. Chris, Chris. 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 I'm sorry. I've not been able to function since you left. I've been... I've, I've been broken. I let my ego get the better of me. You were my biggest fan. You were my biggest supporter. You, I was just bitter. I was entitled. I was, and instead of me to lift you up, I just pulled you down. And I am sorry. I'm so sorry, Chris. Please. Please. I want to thank you for coming back to me. For not turning your back on this marriage. For giving this marriage a second chance. Thank you for not walking away and walking out of my life. And thank you for forgiveness as well. We'll make a good team. <laughs> we do, right? Yeah. I took time out to reflect on things. You're my husband. I couldn't have turned my back on you completely. Second chances, right? <laughs> Second chances. Uh, alcohol? <laughs> Soda. <laughs> <laughs> 